The Williams R. Bradley office was willed to the state of Vermont in the early 1900s. We had no idea that it had been given to the state. The donor had given her son life tenancy and occupancy of the building, and he carefully maintained and cared for her for 60 years. And after his sudden death, we received notice from the courts in Washington, D.C. that the state of Vermont owned property in Westminster. And lo and behold, it was the original Bradley Law Office. This site is an amazing building because of the history that it contains. And this, as we've called it, sort of Vermont's King Tut tomb. When we opened it, the documents here opened up a whole aspect of Vermont history that had been unresearched. The early um, legal papers of Stephen Rowe Bradley and Williams R. Bradley were all here and now are at the University of Vermont and in their special collections and available for additional research. Um, it shows the early formative years of our country and what has shaped us to be what we are today. History can be fun, but get out and enjoy it. In discover it, question it. You can learn much from the State of Vermont's website for historic sites, which is www.historicsites.vermont.gov. And that is an avenue that opens up um, many historic resources in the state and makes links to other historic properties and um, collections. My name is John Dumville. I'm the Historic Sites Operations Chief at the Vermont Division for Historic Preservation. I want to thank you for coming down.